focus in, do everything 100%. Be, be all in for everything you do. I think that's the best way to be in, in life, right? like to try me out a life in the stars my friends all say i need a place to wear out my heart so i Child mother holds her son. She named him for the Holy One. She's so afraid living where she lives. Wants to give him more than she could give. She hoped he'd find just a little grace. Take him to a better place. Thanks for coming today. Thank you very much for having me. So we're going to talk about mating your day job with your music job. And you're an ER doctor, which is a little unusual for a lot of day jobs. <laughs> Why be a musician when you're already working crazy hours with a lot of stress? I think without music, my life would not be as complete as it is. Yeah. You know, it's a great outlet and... Uh, like I was saying, a lot of us in medicine actually have music as a sort of a, an avocation or a hobby or a, an outlet. A lot of doctors wind up strumming guitars? Yeah, they, we all kind of kept playing our instruments from high school on and you know, you still have that kind of desire to, you're sort of a high output person, so you kind of keep it and carry it over into your life outside the hospital. Is it, is it like a meditational healing kind of activity after, after work? Yeah, and it's a, uh, 
it's uh, like a dance. You don't have to think. You don't have to intellectualize it. I mean, you might have to. You want to get the music right, get the notes right, sound good, blend with everybody else. But you know, it's a completely different part of your brain than you know medicine. Well, the medicine yeah. you do, you have to make decisions like this, this and deal with incredible trauma and and crying and emotion and uh, what does that do? How do you bring that? to the music that you produce? Huh. Well, you know, you store up a lot of adrenaline or just a lot of uh, I don't know, powerful scenes that you're, you're privileged to be a witness to. Mm. And you also, That's you know. That's one way to put it. Yeah, and you, it, there is, especially as an emergency doc, you know, in the trauma center, you, you just build up a lot of energy. And for me, like when I'm on stage or doing a gig or something, I, I tend to move around a lot. It's kind of like, yeah, this is my way to kind of release it. It's like going for a jog or something. You kind mm -hmm. of get all that energy out. Um, but that inspiration and that desire to really pump it into the music, fire that up, probably in part, at least, you know, comes from what I do in my job. Yeah. Your hours are pretty long. Doing a lot of gigs gets pretty long. Where do you sleep? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, first of all, we don't do that many gigs. Uh, we're just a, a bunch of guys been doing this kind of classic rock band for a few years. Uh, and uh, sleep is precious, and mm -hmm. you get it when you can. Uh, it's not like I don't ever sleep, but uh, I find it as I as I go on in life, it's getting a little harder and harder to actually sleep. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I might be tired, but it's hard to actually get the hours in. What are the? How about the rest of your band? What kind of jobs do they do? Uh, I'm on the, I'm the only doc in the band. There's some environmental consultants which do their day job, travel around, know all kinds of people, you know, hobnob with. And politicians and governors and yeah. things. Uh, electrical engineer who's great. He's our our guy who tweaks all the knobs and gets all the. It's a handy guy to have. Very handy, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So they all pretty much got day jobs. And that's interesting. It, it, a lot of people bring skills from their day jobs into their music, mm -hmm. uh, like your engineer pal. Mm -hmm. uh, what skills as a doctor do you bring into? how you play your bass or how you, <laughs> how you present to the crowd? Uh, very little. <laughs> uh, I guess what's my sort of unique, I don't know. I mean, I, I remember and got trained in, in music classes and stuff, so I kind of bring that sort of uh, let's, let's polish the song here and there, get that kind of just get it right a little bit more than maybe the expertise thing. Um, I try to bring the energy of an ER doc, my buddy, lead singer in the band it's all about energy and he's a front man and i'm not and i, I know uh, that kind of thing so we all have our different skill sets um yeah i kind of bring the try to try to make it sound good uh, blend and make a song sound perfect and stuff are you perfectionist like uh, figuring out whether a suture goes in right uh maybe no nah, it's hard to be a perfectionist in a band where everybody has their own Input. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, perfect would be like my idea of perfect, and then that goes out the window. No, it's right. it's everybody's. It's the group's idea of perfect. Yes, of course, I try to keep, you know, my own end of things as perfect as I can make it. Uh, you know, they say like being. In fact, I think it's the drummer for the Doors said, "Being in a band is like polygamy without the sex." Right? I mean, we're all married to each other. Yeah, that's right. And you got to get along, and you uh, you try to put your perfectionism in a, an appropriate place, you know? <laughs> Do you think about medicine when you're playing music, or is it really nah. a way to totally divorce uh, and get no. away from it? No, I'm away from it. I'm doing music. Yeah, some people might say the, uh, there, there's always the tortured soul part of a, of a musician's oeuvre, uh, mm -hmm. so to speak. Um, do you have a tortured soul that you need to <laughs> exorcise as a uh, guy on stage? Maybe some, once in a while, if you're singing a, a, a kind of a soulful song or a sad song, um, yeah, maybe there's maybe there is some draw on the pain that you see in, mm -hmm. in life, and uh, maybe that little quiver in your voice that wouldn't be there if you hadn't lived that or witnessed those kinds of things, you know, in the ER. You know, yeah, I wonder. Do you think that there are some musicians who never have, have never done anything but music? Uh, do you think you become a better musician having lived a little extra life? I think uh, for a guy like me, I like to do lots of different things. Mm. And as an ER doc, you know, I do all kinds of different medicines. Old folks, young folks, trauma, medicine, yeah. you know. 
And in music, I like to, you know, do all the different, you know, kind of genres and stuff that I can too. I, I sort of got trained in jazz trombone and stuff and somehow gravitated to a bass player in a rock band. But um, that variety, I think, is uh, an important part of what we do, you know. It kind of reflects your, I guess it would reflect some of what you see because you get a variety of, of uh, emergency that you have to deal with. Oh, yeah. Kid with a cut finger. Yeah. You know, and then someone missing a leg in a car wreck. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, uh, do you think your music mirrors some of that span? Uh, sure, yeah. And, and uh, you know, if I was a subspecialist, like an eye surgeon or something, and I really just focused on that one thing, maybe I would be a, like a really technical classical guitarist or something. But that's not really, you know, my, my style of thing. I'm, bring it all out and we play lots of different lots of we, we cover a lot of different bands and love doing that like who do you who do you like covering the most what reflects oh. what you try to do oh wow ah uh, that's hard to say because we do a lot uh beatles always comes to mind because i kind of grew up with them you know you and me both those, those right guys, i mean yeah. in our <laughs> genre like who didn't know all the beatles songs you know and uh oh god i get into you know, Oh God, dance music, really, you know, Brown Eyed Girl, Twist and Shout, the kind of the things that get people moving. That's part of what mm -hmm. we play off of, of course, is like the energy of the band, uh, energy of the audience coming back. The audience is dancing, man, we're pumping it out even harder. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a purging of a, well, purging and a healing and, and all kinds of yeah. things that, that, yeah. that, that, that goes on for, you're doing for the audience, but you're also doing it for yourself. Yeah. Uh, do you ever get any trouble at home for, you know, coming home late from work and then, oh, I gotta go play a gig. Is, is there any, any resentment that you're out doing that instead of, yeah, whatever you do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. That, yeah. How, do you, how do you marry that together? Because I think everyone who does a lot of gigs and has a busy job faces yeah. some of that. How, how do you reconcile that in your head? I, or and, and in your life? First of all, I would be the first guy to say I'm not perfect at that. Yeah. But what I do is, uh, when I'm doing something, I do it. I'm there 100%. I'm not thinking about. I'm not thinking about something else. If I'm there at home, I'm there at home. If I'm there with my kids, I'm not thinking about medicine or music or anything else. That's kind of how you have to do your job, isn't exactly. it? Yeah. When you're each yeah. patient, you you're 100% right there. You can't be thinking about the gig if you're working on. You know, you've got somebody's yeah. chest in front of you. You know. So yeah, mm -hmm. you, you focus in, do everything 100%. Be be all in for everything you do. I think that's the best way to be in, in life, right? It is interesting. It, it compartmentalize yeah. yeah. as you go. Now, we were talking a little earlier about uh, your songwriting. Mm -hmm. you, you said, you. what do you bring to your songwriting from mm. your work? Well, gosh, that's work is a huge inspiration for the songs I've written, which are not many. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, the, being an emergency doc and, and being in the... Uh, the realm where you see life unfolding in front of you. It's not a TV show. It's, it's not, uh, it's stranger than fiction because you can't make this stuff up. And, um, you know, sometimes you internalize that. I don't bring it home or, or dwell over tough cases, but they're in there. And yeah. so they may come out in the writing. You of course. Know? Well, they could be very traumatic in your, yeah. in yourself. I mean, you could need a lot of, uh, 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 healing from post-traumatic stress yourself. Yeah, maybe that's true. You know, yeah. uh, if I get a week off or, or something or, or go to Hawaii, mm -hmm. I know that, you know, I'm looking forward to the trip. It's great. But there's this kind of stage of a day or two after I'm there when I really get down. I'm sometimes going to tears for really no kind of reason. And I think that's exactly what you said. You're sort of releasing the, the stress and it's okay. It's a safe environment. I'm not going to cry in the ER. It ain't my job. Right. I don't no, it would be disruptive, actually, wouldn't it? But, uh, yeah. yeah. But um, I don't think if you're a human being with feelings and a soul, you can witness these things without some kind of you know, reaction to it. I, I'll tell patients in the ER, no one, none of us, you, me, nobody, we're, are immune to, you know, to the effects of stress. Mm. And everybody needs to find ways to deal with it. Rock well, and roll is a great way, you know? Yeah. Now, with the, um, 
what's this? They're, you're going to do a song at, at, at some point, and mm -hmm. um, uh, tell us a little bit about that. Oh, okay. It's a collage of people you see, like, let's say, on a night shift. And, mm -hmm. and especially as a person with a soul, I kind of go into, and I like to sit and talk to these people. And um, maybe give them more. You know, I know that sometimes in medicine, you can't necessarily fix everything. No. I can't even get people a home. And there's yeah. a lot of homeless, needy people. But I can smile. I can shake their hand. I can put my hand on their shoulder. And sometimes that's all you can do, and that's all they really need. That's all you can give them, right? And you, th it, yeah, that is interesting. If, if you were working in an insurance office, you would not be having these interactions. <laughs> but but if, in the emergency room, and because of the nature of our medicine, that's a lot of who you see. Yeah. People who don't have you know, GPs to go to, this is where they come. Very true. Um, and I like it that way. I, I wouldn't want to like triage people away based on their ability to pay or anything. That's not my, that's not what I signed up for in medicine. I'm glad in the federal law is we take all comers. Yeah. You know, anybody who's pushed through the door, documented or not, you know, that's, mm -hmm. I'm going to see and be a good doc for and that they, person. And that gives you a, 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 a unique, actually unique window into a different set of life that a lot of people don't see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see a lot of that as a journalist. I'm sure you do. But the way you see it is, is a very up close personal thing. It's, that's a wonderful thing to write songs about. And it's, uh, it, and it helps you, it, does it help you evaluate your own journey and your own interaction when you explore yeah. it in that format? Sure, yeah, you sort of take your own pulse, remember your own you know, humility and remember how very, very lucky I am because I see the people that aren't so lucky. And never forget that, you know, always be thankful for that. I can have a bad day and get on my own trip, but when I go to the ER, it's very easy for me to forget whatever I might be working on because there's people a whole lot worse off than me. Right. And maybe, maybe that's a sort of a, yeah, I do have it lucky. I can smile, I, I got clean clothes, you know. I can come in there and kind of maybe shed a little goodness and not in a, you know, not in some sort of I have this, you don't kind of way, but like, uh, I got some love in my heart, I want to give it to you, sort of a thing. I mean, that's a little schmaltzy, but. No, you know, it doesn't sound schmaltzy at all to me. In fact, it sounds like your musical uh, uh, you know, expression is almost symbiotic with your day job. It, it, yeah. it, they're, they are connected to each other, not just fully separate. They're separate and they're connected. Yeah. yeah especially yeah. emotionally. Well, I can compartmentalize, but. I'm still the one big compartment called Dave, you know. <laughs> well, Dave, thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much. It's really a privilege to be here, Kevin, thanks. and I appreciate all that you've done, too. Try me out a life in the stars My friends all say I need a place to wear out my heart So I'm moving to Mars You know this life has been crazy Sometimes I think I'm not really here Every time I turn around another friend is going down And I can't see her face for the tears So I'm moving to Mars Yeah, I think I'd like to try me out